our bones and it brings joy to our very heart. I want to share with you Psalms 27 verses 1 through 5. Here beginneth the reading of God's holy word. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. The word of the Lord for the people of God. And you know what I'm saying. Blessings abound. It is always a delight to share the word of God. It truly does strengthen one's inner being. When you hear the word of God, you hear overcoming testimonies. You hear of those who went through something and now in our going through something, we can refer back to what they said and understand that the word of God, just as God is, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's why we read the word of God. It's not just applicable to the time in which it was actually written or spoken or experienced, but it's an experience for you right now. Whatever you're going through, the word of God has not missed you. Whatever you're going through, if you find yourself in the word of God, if you find yourself in the presence of God, you will find yourself and you will find that you are healed, you're delivered, you're set free. You will find that there's a joy that overtakes the continents of, of who you are. You're transformed because of the word of God. It's power. The word of God, it's cutting. And yet after the cutting, there's a healing and you're made all the better, stronger. Why? Because of the word of God. That's why we read daily. That's why we study his word so that we can be fortified to live in this earth more than a conqueror. Amen. And so I want to encourage you, read the word of God. Meditate on it. Meditate on the steadfast word of God and you will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in a season your leaf shall not wither and whatsoever you do oh it will prosper that's what the word of god does be encouraged and read the word of god you indeed will experience blessings that abound mm -hmm.